A team of sixth graders at Holly Grove Middle School banded together to brainstorm ways to make school bus stops safer. The students proposed a school bus stop sign that automatically flashes when a school bus comes within 300 feet of the stop. This flashing sign would indicate to traffic that a school bus is near and drivers should prepare to slow down and come to a stop. The sixth graders learned coding and other aspects of STEM to develop a prototype. Their idea gained them national recognition and the prize of North Carolina's top idea in the Samsung Solve for Tomorrow contest. They presented their idea in New York as one of the top 10 finalists, and it has been announced that they have won the contest top prize. This achievement earned Holly Grove over $100,000 in technology. We attended the prototype presentation in Holly Springs before their trip to New York. Sit back and enjoy. We had an email about this contest and I just invited any children that were interested to come meet me during our enrichment time. And these are the kids that wanted to take a risk, so they wanted to try out the contest, yeah. Miss Shalene, our teacher, she got, she got this just random email popped up into her inbox, like one of those that you just throw in trash. Um, and she read it and said, Samsung um, Solve for Tomorrow contest. Um, and she was like, she shout out an invite, and she said, any kid who wants to join, come join. And that is how we got this amazing group of people. So we came up with the idea because, well, we were sort of worried about like bus safety and a lot of us rode the bus. Most people don't realize how much, how unsafe bus stops are. And when we started learning about like our friend and everything, we started committing into this. So I have been going on the bus since I started going to school. Well in elementary school and up, and I've seen people almost get hit by a car while they were getting on or off the bus. So then we just sort of thought of the idea, and then we sort of looked into it a bit, and we came up with the idea of a bus stop sign that has never been invented before. It was kind of hard to figure out what we were gonna do. We kind of wanted it to be solar powered, so we added a solar panel. We had to learn about how to connect the sign with the solar powered and how to make the lights flash. We basically started coding and we coded the Ar an Arduino and then that is connected to an XB and then there's an XB on the bus which then sends a signal to the XB on the sign which sends a signal to the Arduino which basically you'll start turning the lights on and it'll start making it flash and then basically at like 300 feet it'll start flashing red and then at like 100 feet it'll start flashing red even faster. Debbie in passing had shared with me that she was going to be working with the students um, and they had entered this contest and you know how excited she was to be able to Im implement t STEM in some of her class time. And so she came to me with an email um, in early December and said that they were a finalist which meant they won a Samsung tablet because um, they were in the top five for the state of North Carolina. Beyond excited, Debbie implements technology in her classroom all the time and could put that to good use. And it was released to Debbie, but we couldn't release to the public the day we left for Christmas break that they had won the state prize and Holly Grove Middle School was to be awarded $20,000. Um, Debbie was beyond excited. We shared with the staff. We told them they couldn't tell anyone, but we would be telling the kids as soon as they got back from Christmas break. So we're excited about being able to have the kids join our MTAC committee who decides how we spend our funds for technology to help determine where in the school students need to see technology to help them grow and, grow and learn. It's great. It just opens that door for imagination and engineering and they get to use all this really cool technical devices, right? Yeah, and just create beyond imagination of adults, I think. 
what the kids came up with with this prototype is beyond any of the adults in the building have come up with or outside of the building, but still embeds all of those things that we're trying to teach students about using their creativity, their innovation to make the world that they live in a better place. I'm just here to, to support these kids in the school. Um, I have a personal interest in this because I was unfortunately in a bus accident, which is tragic, back when I was in the third grade. So bus safety means a lot to me. Then when I see people going around buses when they're stopped with kids, and we still have some of that here, uh, what they're doing and what they've done to promote safety for buses is, is incredible. They already won $20,000 and now they're working for more. And that's, that's an incredible uh, kind of thing for, for kids in the sixth grade. So as I say, I'm here to support the kids and uh, I'm very proud of them. And the town's very proud. As the principal of Holly Grove Middle School, there are things that go on every day within our walls we know about. We're proud of our students. It's not necessarily that it hits the media or gets so many members of the community involved. So what this does and what makes me so proud is you guys get to see what we get to see every day. That these kids have aspirations, they have ideas, dreams, and if we can kind of give them access to turn loose and show us what they're made of, they're gonna blow us all away, kind of like they do for us every day. I'm pretty excited because there's a potential that we could save lives and we're actually trying to put the sign um, in the most, like the places where they need them the most. I just feel really happy to be able to like save children's lives and stuff. It just feels good to be part of something and then like making something come to life. And then along the way we've been learning as well. So then we can learn more for in the future and things like that. And then we know that it can help like all of the people. I, I'm so proud. I told them I would do a cartwheel, but after today, so in case I injured myself. <laughs> but they're super kids, they're, they're very kind. They're, they get along, they collaborate, they listen to each other. Really great group of kids. Yeah, I think, I think that they would be amazed, right, and be so proud of yourselves if this is actually something that comes to fruition and is used for bus stop safety. Yeah, it would be great. To all the students and educators involved with this project, congratulations on earning the top prize in the Samsung Cell for Tomorrow National Contest. If you have any questions or would like to know more, visit our website at RaleighCW.com and MyRDCTV.com. I'm Bill LeMann. Thank you for watching Community Matters. Thank you.